Thanks for staying with us. We still have um, Senator Bashir with us, and he's also the spokesperson of the Senate. And more importantly, he's also the campaign chairman for the campaign council for Oyetola in uh, Governor Oyetola in Oshun State. Sir, concerning this work that you are set to do as the chairman of the campaign council for Governor Oyetola's return as governor, why do you think the people of Oshun State should vote him in again? I think I must first say that uh, Governor Itola is actually the chairman of his campaign council. I'm the director general of the campaign council. Okay. And uh, just as I uh, stated at the uh, meeting where uh, the campaign council was inaugurated, I uh, emphatically, I mean, stated that the standing performance of uh, Governor Isaka Itola in the past, I mean, three years, I uh, will speak uh, for his re-election in uh, on July 16, 2022. And what are these areas of sterling I mean, performance? Uh, in the area of industrial peace and relations, particularly as regard uh, the uh, industrial harmony in the public service in Nigeria, uh, in Onoshun particularly, uh, Governor Itola has performed excellently. To his credit, there has not been an incident of a state I mean, strike since he assumed the mantle of leadership in November uh, 20, uh, uh, 2018. And that's... Uh, is actually, I mean, a credit to the fact that notwithstanding the lean resources of the state, he has devoted his commitment to ensure that the workers and their pay as at when I mean due. And of course, in the area of infrastructure, he has been able to touch an uh, area of critical in, uh, infrastructural needs of our people. Uh, for instance, in my senatorial I mean, district, he has been able to touch a road at the Ibadjo Road, which has uh, been uh, last I mean, touched. Uh, since uh, about 30 years ago, then added to Ijibo Road uh, has also I mean, been uh, done. And of critical uh, importance to mention is the liberal attitude of uh, I mean, the governor. And uh, one of the first set of uh, roads constructed by Governor Oitola is located in Ede, which um, appears to be the outbed of uh, the uh, uh, opposition uh, in the last election. So no wonder that uh, Ede people are now rooting, I mean, for Governor Itola. In the area of uh, social intervention, uh, Governor Itola has done tremendously well in giving support to the small-scale, I mean, industrialists, women, artisan groups, and importantly, the vulnerable in society, the introduction of Onja Ineri, which is a, I mean, food support system for 30,000, I mean, uh, 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 vulnerable people, which has been on course for the past, I mean, one year, uh, repeatedly, and uh, of course, notwithstanding the challenge that uh, COVID 19 pandemic has brought to the economy of the country, and uh, particularly in the way it has adversely affected the state in terms of revenue, I mean, earning, Governor Itola has used his keen understanding uh, brought from the private sector of financial engineering to ensure that the state remains, I mean, solvent and also able to meet not only with expectation okay. of the current, I mean, expenditure, but capital, I mean, expenditure Sir. to alleviate uh, the needs of All the right. people. Okay. Sir, do, do, I, I love the fact that, you know, you're very aware of how much is achieved. I'm just wonder, wondering if the people of Osho share your sentiments, because, you know, we had such laudable um, achievements by the former governor, but as soon as he stepped out of office, even his... Even his own uh, members of his own cabinet thought he didn't do well. I, I, I would I wouldn't agree with you. Nobody has uh, uh, talked, I mean, negative about uh, the former, I mean, governor. And I must say, because I'm, I'm, I'm a part, I'm part, I was a part and part of that government. I served as commissioner for special duties and regional integration. For every government, you have your lows, you have your highs, and mm -hmm. the fact that our hours is a continuation of an APC administration does not mean that we should not confront with eagle eye uh, the challenges that any program that has been instituted uh, 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 is confronting and then make necessary adjournment. Dynamism is very essential, I mean, in government. And that is uh, what has been done by Governor Itola. Nobody is saying somebody has not done well, but that you always pray. And I also, uh, uh, you people also pray that people who succeed you should do better, perform better, and mm -hmm. be able, I mean, to uh, galvanize I mean, more than you have done. And that is what Governor Itola has done. And when it comes to people in Oshun, uh, they have been able to appreciate what the governor has done. Just a week ago, I was at the uh, state uh, program of the, uh, uh, the, the Blacksmith and the Weather Association. And even before I spoke, 
They have already in the inaugural and welcome speech acknowledged the contribution of our Governor Itola and adopted mm. that they are solemnly uh, adopting him as their candidate for the purpose of the election. And this cut across even non in the society and everywhere. And of course, our job as a campaign directorate is to ensure that we knock on every door, we walk on every street, and we evangelize on the tremendous achievements okay, let me, of let me... and the need to consolidate democracy and development in Oshu. So I have a question from a fan here. He says, Mariah, please ask him why the neglect of the Ibajo Imesile Eshaoke, I believe. Eshaoke. Eshaoke, late chief Bolaige's hometown, and also Imesile Oton, Ijebu, Ijesha Road, that those places were abandoned. Could you give us a reason why? I, I, I incidentally, I passed through that road uh, overnight yesterday because I traveled by road from uh, Abuja to Shugbo yesterday night because I have important appointments overnight. Yes, those roads are not abandoned. I saw three bridges, at least three bridges under construction in the Mesile, uh, or Tonle, uh, Axis yesterday when I was traveling. So I believe that the person that sent the question actually mm -hmm. may, might not have been on that road for a long time. Okay. I know that there's much to see be done on that road, but when you want to do construction, when you have bridges to cross, I think the uh, engineers tell us that it is very good to finish the hydraulics before you right. start construction of that road. I passed through that road less than, uh, less than 12 hours. I mean, okay. ago. Let me find final question. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, if we're hearing the opposition, so sometimes I feel that another way you can test um, the credibility of a current um, administration is also to listen to um, the opposition. And there's accusation of giving um, contracts right now for the roads, for the township roads. <laughs> as just a way to compensate people towards this election because it's coming very close towards election time. This is not something that has been done before. What do you have to say in response to that? Yeah, you see, we, we, I, as I promised, we want to run issue-based I mean, campaign. And then we will not want to engage a ruderless and incompetent opposition in unnecessary I mean, debates. <laughs> Look at it. Election is going to be in uh, uh, July, on July 16. It is the money for the contract being awarded in uh, June, uh, May and June that you will use to do election, I mean, in, in July. It shows that the opposition in Oshun, they are not uh, only incompetent, they don't, don't understand the okay. workings of the government. All right, we have very Mr. little time there. Started we have very little time. I want to throw in a few more questions for you. The point taken, I want to throw in a few more questions. Talk about please. Yeah, um, I wanted to ask about your idea. But then there's this question from um, social media about how the, your candidate is going to win without the support of the oh, current wow. minister, the former governor and now mm -hmm. minister mm -hmm. of the minister, yes. Raul Haragwe yes. And I think that that's, apart from IGR, this is a more stronger question I'd mm. like to get your opinion on. Now, can you win without Raul Haragwe in Ocean State? <laughs> my, 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 my opinion is that, let, let me first say you, I'm a Muslim. And uh, what, I mean, the Holy Quran told me is that Allah God is the owner of sovereignty and he yeah. gives sovereignty to whoever he wills. Mm. So it is in the hand of Almighty God, not an individual, whether Governor Itola will be returned. And I want to say it's that as a practical politician on ground, I'm a senator representing also Central Central District. In 2019 election, the margin that opposition uh, deficit of opposition in my central district is 28,000 I mean, votes. We are going to replicate that in Osho Central, in Osho West, and Osho East. And take it to the bank. Governor Isaka Retola will win with high standing How has your IGR been? Who has been Internally generated our revenue. I, Sir, what are you doing? Because one of the I, major I, problems, all our governors go cap in hand to federal government. Elole and no shoe. I've told you that today, you can, you can look at the statistics of revenue allocation. Our state is number 34 on the ladder of allocation. As of today, in the past three years of Oetola's administration, we have not borrowed a dime from any institution to finance any of our projects, and our IGR has been able to support largely our recurrent expenditure. Mm. Our, our fiscal policy is to ensure that we have, uh, the, on the capital side of our expenditure, more resources allocated than on recurrent expenditure. And that is why consistently 
the three budgets that have been done by the total administration, you have the capital vote to be uh, in excess of 50 and a percent. That speaks to somebody who has a sterling understanding of the way public finance management I mean, should be done and has adapted, okay. the, adapted right. that, not only in terms of IGR, but in managing whatever you get, both in the IGR and for federal okay. allocation. All right. We have to wrap up. Thank you very much, hmm. Senator Ajivala Bashi. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the right man they sent for the job, but it's all good. Hey, we wish you the best and the campaign starts off. Uh, that's all we can take on Thank this. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. <laughs> that is all we can take on the show. The week is just starting. Mm, We're hoping for a better day tomorrow. Yeah. See you then. Bye for now.